What up, folks? TB is here, and we've got the new unboxing today. We've got the Kickstarter spawn number one, first spawn figure, man. This is this is gonna be awesome. We've been waiting since what was it? Uh oh, I so should mention this is a co-op review of my good buddy, uh, Overlord of Overlord Productions. What's up? And we've been waiting what since May or April on this? Like, I kind of lost track of time. Probably May, but I ordered mine like a month after you. So. Okay. <laughs> And he should be getting his on Thursday, I believe. And I got mine. I'm supposed well, to get. I am here because it's bad enough I had to wait for mine, but I didn't want to wait to be jealous that he got his first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're supposed to get this on Sunday, but hey, everything's backed up because of weather and crazy stuff. But yeah. This, oh, jeez. This box is heavy. I'm actually straining a little bit to lift that up. It's huge. It's and, like um, a stone troll quality box, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's, it's a huge box, dude. It's really That's big. That's a three-pound figure, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a really big box. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, bust this guy open and uh, see what, what lies beneath. And as we delve deeper, there is a box within another box, and it's got some kind of weird uh, kind of plastic things on the corners, man. That's pretty cool. Todd went through a lot of trouble to... Get us this spawn figure, and it's a relatively cheap figure. And it's funny because there's so many people on the Kickstarter comments being ugly and nasty and thirsty and political and stupid and like all kinds of crap. It was just, I don't know, man. It was ridiculous. A lot of people being super impatient, man. Really super impatient. Probably, probably Mesco went to a collector's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But either way. All right, now we got the box now, the, the box within the box. And, yeah, it had these little plastic guard things on the side. I don't know what you could – maybe you could use these for something. You could recycle them, use them for dioramas or something, something neat. Or uh, kind of like uh, pasties for your nipples. I don't I have no idea. But either way, that will be pretty cool. And, and uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, – we might as well just do it on cam. Let's see if we can do this carefully. Let's do it on cam. We're doing it live. Doing it live, man, on camera, or whatever. But yeah, let's see. Got our Indiana Jones cats on. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go we're too crazy. Cool as, uh, we're not as cool as Harrison Ford, but we'll try. I wonder how many people. Yeah, I know, right? I wonder how many people ordered like. Duplicates, triplicates, quadruplicates of this figure. Well, are these? They're not gonna get their stuff until later because he's just sending up the single orders first. Cause uh, That's yeah. That's probably why I'm getting mine before people like toy shoes who brought the three guy. Oh wow! Here we go, man. Cool. Oh wow, this is awesome. Got the green foil on here. All right. Uh, let it shimmy, shimmy on out. There we go. Sweet. Man, this box is huge. This is rad. I'm glad I had the day off today. I'm glad. That would have been so... I, w I wouldn't have been able to focus on work and uh, knowing this would been be arriving. Oh, that's rad. This, the green foil spawn logo on the side. This is dope. Really cool. That is cool, man. That is cool. That's nice, dude. All right. Spawn logo on the bottom. 14 plus, not a toy. 1994. 1994 to 2021, man. That was a year before I graduated high school. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they fixed that. It was supposed to come out in 2020, but they put 2021 on there. Wow. Take that the, must have been the slip thing. cover off. The slip cover is now off. And oh, you got the cool little green. Um, and I imagine for each figure, there's going to be a different foil. I remember. I so. Yeah. So you got the green. Got the classic ones. We got the green little pull cord on here. Oh, red. Ha <laughs> ha. This is awesome. Oh, man. Let's, uh... That's cool, man. Woo wee. All right, man. That is the spawn. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you got the extra head. That's cool. We got a knife. We got the necroplasmic uh, effect thingy, which looks like kind of like um, like uh, just I don't know, green green uh, hot glue, but <laughs> it's still cool. Oh, we got a checklist. That he said it was gonna come with. 
And let's see, comparison checklist. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. This should have some kind of boot thing, I would imagine. Hold on. As an artist and a creator, I've worked to evolve my creations to the highest artistic level achieve achievable. For this uh, first Spawn Kickstarter figure, I want to go back to the original Spawn action figure. I debuted in 1994, which I got for either what, a Christmas present or whatever. I remember I had yeah, several of those. Um, it's, uh, it's an upgraded tribute figure celebrating the beginning of McFarlane Toys in 1994 that has been remastered and modernized using skill, uh, skill sets, details, and technology. I have learned over the past 26 years, hence um, what the DC collect or uh, the DC uh, multiverse, yeah. And, DC multiverse. And because of our outpour of support, uh, for more than 23,000 backers, which we were both uh, part of that. Um, the Patterson's on the back. Um, the Spawn Kickstarter figure earned over $3.4 million and set two Kickstarter records. Thank you for participating in this record-breaking project. Stay tuned for the next one. Oh, we, we definitely will, Todd. Awesome. So you get you got a got this a nifty checklist. It goes through all kinds of stuff: head, shoulders, biceps, all this. And yeah, that's that's pretty neat, man. Uh, I don't want to get bog this down with all that, but yeah. Here's oh, Masterworks uh, certificate of authenticity. So for only twenty twenty dated. Rad, that's cool, man. This is all nice. This is all super nice. Woo. And um, we can actually have for comparison. The, here's the old uh, hamburger head spawn and package. And we'll compare that. I, I didn't want to, I should have hunted down. Yeah, that's a, probably the right comparison because I was going to hunt down my, I still actually have one of my old spawns mint on card from way back in the day from I think that Christmas time, but years ago. But yeah, I wasn't going to rip that out because I don't want to bother to find it. And yeah, this is cool. So yeah, much like the old vintage packaging. And um, let's check out some other stuff before we ripped in this figure. Here's the gun. Gun's pretty cool, man. It's got like a rocket on top. Because wow, like, why not? It's like a multi <laughs> minigun grenade launcher, rocket launcher, rifle. Crazy. Got your necroplasm thing that fits right on his hand. We've got a knife with this one. Necroplasmic knife or dagger. That's cool. And we've got an extra head, which is Al Simmons head. Let's see if we can get that out. It's all Al Simons or whatever. That is cool, man. That's pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty nifty. It's got green eyes. That's cool, man. Got a little bit of... Yeah. Got to work a little bit, but it moves all the way around and all that stuff. Yeah. Whew, man. Let's go ahead and uh, let me see if I can get this figure out of the foam. Wow, I'm like busting a sweat almost just because wow. there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Give me a second. Ooh. And here's the figure in the clamshell out of the box, ripped right out of the foam. Flying cape. Swing open action, just like the old school one. Nothing on the back. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy open, man. Holy crap. It's got a clamshell case. All right, there's the comic spawn reboot number one. Wow, I have to do just a separate video on this, maybe even. It's got a nice, uh, yeah, that's rad. That's cool. Seems like it could. So much stuff, it's all review. Well, it seems like the comic, man, come out pretty easily. So that's awesome, dude. Gold foil number one. So that's rad. Just like the old days. Um, let's see, we got. Uh, let's rip this dude out. Man. It's taking a while. Knew it would, though. Knew it would. Okay. I mean, who are we kidding here? Am I really going to save all this plastic? Probably not, but... I want to get to the meat. All right, the meat of this figure. Oh, wow. No pun intended, because hashtag hamburger head. Oh, wow. The capes... Wow, this is already... Looking pretty marvelous. Oh, neat, man. This is this is wicked. Oh, wow. This is crazy. This is crazy. 
Alrighty, folks, and we're back. We finally got this figure out of his uh, shell. So let's go ahead and... Man, this is crazy. Wow. Now I'm interested in what the other ones, uh, the other buy-ins. Well, the next one's supposed to be Medieval Spawn, I think. So it'll probably be a little similar to that, but with shoulder pauldrons and a different... Case. Well, that, and I'm guessing, too, maybe the head articulation might be a little different because this hamburger head spawn, he just kind of has... um, Kind of kicking myself I didn't get some other spawns, uh, for sure. Because this one, you can... Um, you can move his head a bit different, but there is that cut right there. So I imagine a lot of people freak out over that big time. Me, not so much. I'm not going to really, you know, it's not going to be that big a deal. There's his waist twist. All the way around. You've got a... Uh, almost splitsies. Standard pretty much articulation. you got his double knees, obviously. So his head's not like a ball joint? No, it's not. It's like his head, it's like a bust. It's like pretty much attached to the neck. But the Al, oh. Sim the Al Simmons head is actually, I guess, would be like on a, I don't know if it's on a ball or what, or if it's just pinless, but yeah. And uh, the cape's awesome. I love the detail on the cape. There's a lot of uh, dark, uh, there's like black shading and stuff all over. It's really nice. Look at a little bit closer detail on the hamburger head face. That is gnarly, man. That is waist. It's just like a swivel. It's not a ball joint either. It's um. It looks like you can you can get back you can back and forth. It swivels all the way around. Just a little bit. And, and uh. Arm articulation is hindered by the cape a little bit, but that's understandable. You got pretty much all the... I don't want to get bogged down on articulation either, because we all kind of know what Todd gives us through, like, the multiverse figures and stuff like that. So it's pretty much the same kind of engineering. That's weird. That hinge right there. But other than that, though, I like these hands. The open, These open spawn hands, it's rad. That is really cool. This... See, okay, no cuts right there, but other than that, pretty awesome. Got a calf cut, got the toe hinge, all your regular rockers and hinges and pivots and all that stuff. And the foot, the same on the booted side. Chains are nice, they've got kind of um, are the boots just attached. Yeah, the boots are oh, part of the feet. looks like the boots are part of the sculpt pretty much. But uh, yeah, here's the hinged oh. cape, so it is hinged, so you can have it kind of out, like it's flapping in the wind maybe, or you can have it totally close in on him, which is cool. And that's like a hard plastic. Kind of oh yeah, it's pretty. I wouldn't say hard plastic, but it's a good sturdy plastic. It's like on the heavier end of PVC. Let's see. Tougher PVC. See, that's about as much as it's going to close in right there, but it closes down about as much as it closes in right there, so that's cool. Wow, man. This is nuts. Now, this isn't just a figure you can kind of review like any other figure. This is obviously... Oh, here's the stand, too. This is a venture. Record-setting action <laughs> figure. Spawn 1994, 2021. That's pretty cool. I put that right there but man now i'm kicking myself i wish i would have got some of the other spawns because this is cool i wanted this head but it'd be kind of cool to have uh the regular spawn head too which i didn't get with this but that's my own stupid fault for uh not going all or whatever all in or whatevs but i imagine it's always bbts <laughs> yeah that's true too we got extra fists or extra holy hands got a Fist with the open, or there with a holy fist or whatever. Got that. That's pretty cool. How oh, easier the hands to spot? Uh, we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and do that because I want to get the do the whole necroplasm thing. It's like Overlord is prepping himself for when he gets his, so he doesn't mess it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty. And the peg is pretty sturdy on there. That's a pretty big peg. It's like the murder machine, probably. It's as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and pop that in. The Batman murder machine. Put in this necroplasm thing. Let's 
that's how it goes. I don't know if it's just supposed to be like he's like blasting it like a ray or if he's just or whatever. I think each one comes with a different necroplasm. Yeah, too. he got this one and then he's got a knife. But I like his hands though. He's got these sinister like you just like the holding out hands or whatever. The they're just like are kind of just like I don't know, the creeper hands. They're just really the claw hands. These are really yeah, they're just they're just really awesome. I dig that man. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and put another holy fist on him. So he can hold his dagger. Or just throw a knife or whatever throws the dagger. Pop that in there. in all the way but yeah that's pretty cool man that is pretty neat man that's actually not bad that is cool next thing we're gonna have to do too is uh swap heads we'll go ahead and oh that's easy that's just a long peg like a super long peg it actually has like a, a it actually has like a kink to it. That's weird. Actually, okay. that's, yeah, that's actually strange. That's uh, that's weird. That's different. Okay, let's go ahead and put uh, that Al Simmons head on here. Oh, that's cool, man. That's dope. So that's like him before he gets turned into spawn, right? The Al Simmons head. Pretty much, yeah. But he's got the green uh, eyes and stuff with the necroplasmic it eyes. Must be a, must be a newer thing. That's pretty cool, man. Oh, man, I'm still kicking myself for, uh... <laughs> it's on here. I thought I was going to be the jealous one. Maybe not. It's like I'm kicking myself for not for getting this spawn over the other, man, or one of the other. <laughs> still, uh, wants the one that I'm getting. <laughs> it's still cool, but, man, it's like I, I for kind of didn't realize that, yeah, out of my own... Like, the stupidness. You gotta, you gotta get that mess now. <laughs> <laughs> you so it got me, man. It got me. But what's cool about the Al Simmons one is, I suppose you can um, take out the necroplasmic uh, effect, put uh, put the gun in, so we can actually sport the gun. I wonder if mine comes with a gun. So yeah, you can. You can have them with the gun and stuff, so that's cool. That works, man. That's cool, yours, dude. Did yours come with like a blunt weapon, like a two by four with all the nails in it and stuff? Uh, no, no, -uh. you didn't get not like the old first bond. No, you don't get that. But uh, either way, it's mine does. It's pretty rad. So you got kind of like an Al Simmons spawn with the gun and stuff. This is pretty neat, man. That's cool. That is cool. That is cool. Well, next, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the old head back on and get him in, try to see what pose we can get him. And here he is, folks, in a decent enough pose. The cape doesn't seem like it wants to come off. I couldn't remember if it was or wasn't, but it really doesn't seem like it's going to come off. That's fine with me. As a display piece, he is cool. As a figure, he's even he's pretty cool. I don't know if he can um, beat the Mortal Kombat spawn. I think Mortal Kombat spawn might beat this figure out just as far as being an action figure i mean this spawn is an action figure but at the same time it's almost it's almost like a cross between a, an awesome not a staction or a statue but more of a displayable action figure and it's stuff it's got more limitations yeah it's got some limitations but the aesthetics are awesome i mean just look at that he's he's really cool like you got the necroplasm blasting off his fist just really nice detail dude just yeah, you can get him in a decent enough pose. I mean, you're not going to, he's not going to do some pizza spidey crap because, you know, he's got this huge cape that's going to kind of hinder that. That's fine. No, pizza spidey ain't going to do no pizza spidey crap. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here's a look at the back of the cape again. Yeah, there's a lot going on with this cape. So, yeah, this is, this is like a perfect um, reboot, remastering of the first spawn. Most definitely. Most, most definitely. Uh, if you're into that type of thing, this is the figure for you. Yeah. If not, I 
guess maybe wait or spend a hundred bucks on the uh, tenth anniversary one that has app crunches and things. Exactly. Floppy. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, this uh, the cape is awesome. I love the detail on the cape. It definitely pops more than the um, the vintage one because if you look at the vintage one, it is just you know not much going on right you know right there. It's still a cool it's figure. Like a really nice toy biz figure, the vintage one. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, yeah, man, this is this is pretty freaking amazing. This is pretty awesome. Cannot lie. And yeah, there's nice paint washes all the way around. Just let me look closer again. On his gauntlet and stuff, there's just yeah, a lot going on. And it's cool the because we're it's a permanent piece too. Uh yeah. It is a permanent oh, wow. piece. And I don't the things I thought were gonna come off of it. And I was trying to see if there's a cut in there, but I can't doesn't really seem like there is, but that's fine. And once again, the hamburger head head sculpt. Is just pretty neat, man. And this one seems a lot darker. It's like a more of like a like a grayish, a grayish. There's it's like, well done. <laughs> there, there's some, uh, yeah. There's some like red in there. And now I'm kind of kicking. Yeah, we just had to fix that view a little bit. But yeah, let's just look a little bit closer at the face sculpt because that is, that is awesome, man. There's a lot of like detail with the muscle and sinew in there and tissue. You can see, like, maybe there's inside of some skull. There's a little bit of, like, red blood or something. You got Does the, he have the stitch across his face? Yeah, there's, there's stitches across the mouth, the face, and all that. That's cool. And so that was Batman's doing. It's from a Batarang. That's what I've heard. Man. But now it's it's funny because like Todd, you got us, man. It's like you got this one, but you really needed to get them all. <laughs> oh damn it! But still, other so we only bought one. Uh, other than that, it should oh man, but <laughs> still rad, still fun figure, still cool. I'm gonna this is gonna take all, and I've got other stuff to review today, man. But definitely gonna have to spend some time uh, with this figure, dude, just because it's. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to. There's <laughs> just no doubt about it. Whew. Oh, man. That's our that's our review of the Kickstarter remastered modern spawn. Oh, man. This, this is Carlin awesome. Toys Masterwork Spawn, parentheses, modern version. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, that was me and uh, Overlord of Overlord Productions out. Thanks for watching, y'all. And I almost forgot in order to pay tribute to my best friend, good buddy, Overlord Productions, we got we to gotta do a size comparison at the end of my video. And yeah, I have the Mortal Kombat spawn. We also have the Mandarin spawn. And we even have the Drown and her nice boobies up here. To, but she's a little bit shorter than these guys. I, I was too lazy to go dig up any of my other Batman multiverse figures. Uh, but yeah, she's going to be shorter, obviously. And... Yeah, um, it seems like Mandarin Spawn has the height on everybody, but that's just because Mandarin Spawn has so much doodads and a crazy helmet hat thing or head or whatever. and <laughs> Crazy dragon man. Yeah, <laughs> horns, horn, all kinds of horns and things going off him and stuff. And um, and Mortal Kombat Spawn is, um, about, they're almost relatively about the same size, I would say. But uh, you don't have to nitpick it. I, I think you can get over it, whatever. I just We just had to do it to do it. And um, the gauntlets, let me see, because we didn't really get to compare him as far as the gauntlets go. Yeah, the, the, um, the gauntlet on the modern reboot is yeah, a bit more gnarlier, a bit bigger. So, yeah, it makes sense. But Mortal Kombat 11 is still a good figure. <laughs> you can't beat that figure. It's still rad. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Man. Anyways, we're done. We're finally done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, all. And have a good one. Later. And as if this video wasn't long enough, I had to check out this. I, I forgot. I was like, you know what? You might as well just check out this comic. Because I'm not big on reviewing comics. Um, but we had to check out issue one. and Because I wanted to see if it was... Uh, yeah, and it is, in fact, issue one of the original Spawn comic. Uh, without all the um, colors. 
it looks like it's yeah inked and all that stuff but just no colors and it's director's cut special edition so that's pretty rad and uh i actually can't wait to dip into this because you get a background on each page you get like something info about each page so it is you know director's cut obviously duh but yeah through the whole comic so that is pretty cool man you get like more of an in-depth look in how this comic was made um just how everything went down with this comic and that's rad that's it's kind of like a commentary like you know watch a commentary on a dvd or something so that that is pretty sick so i, I was like you know what you can't just finish out this review without and yeah, there's that promo that's rad back in the day and yeah and here's yeah the, and the old ad for all the old toys so yeah it'd be cool if we um i know we're gonna get a violator because there was on instagram there's a sneak peek of that and um yeah it'll be cool to see some of these figures reimagined um this year if not in stores uh if by kickstarter you know so it'd be awesome once again thanks todd we all love you and um it was worth the wait and uh, yeah, <laughs> this is rad. Looking forward to more stuff this year from uh, McFarland Toys. All right, latest.